And apparently the gravitational anomaly has taken hold. Oh, one of them just died. Ooh. And I can't shoot him. Ooh. Welcome back guys, it's Slider Havoc here and we are back on the Revenge of the Sea Team server. And today we are going to take our next step in the Abyssalcraft world and try to see if we can get ourselves the next uh, Necronomicon, right? Because we're going to need that to go to, I believe it's like the Dreadlands or whatever. And then also we're going to try and see if we can actually, um, well, take on the other boss, right? So we've got a couple things we want to do. And I've had to do a lot of research for this because there's not a lot out there about it. But I know the first thing I need to do to uh, fight the next boss is we got to get some of this Corillium Stone because that is what gives us um, what we need to make the altar in the other world, right? So that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. And um, what did I need? What did I need? What did I need? I was coming in here for something. Oh, yes. If I remember correctly, okay, so this was one thing. Um, yeah, I've got one bucket of this liquid antimatter. Got it from, uh, I think, the swamps, like the Corillium Swamp, Corrupted Swamps, whatever it was called. But I'm going to need a couple building blocks as well. Um, let's just grab some dirt. Uh, one, two, three. That should be enough. And um, this was the best idea I could come up with for trying to get some of the stone. I couldn't find it anywhere mining. And you'll see right now as oops, as uh, we head to back to the Abyssal Wasteland, it's been, I, I did some mining. I did a lot actually trying to figure out the most productive way to do this um, after we left off the last episode because I got that red power gem, which I've got stored away in one of the chests right now. But I did create a little room right here around my uh, portal because I kept getting nailed by all those like the mobs every time I came in. So I did create uh, a little room here just to kind of keep myself protected and whatnot. And, you know, n nothing major, just a little sliding glass door. But see, here's here's what we're going to be doing, right? Because I was reading that the liquid antimatter does some weird stuff. Um, was it too deep right here? Oh, well, I don't want it anything that deep, so. Oh, because you went sideways. Okay. And I love the fact that uh, apparently this should be like killing me, but because I'm a robot and I don't get poisoned, it's not doing anything to me. I love that. And then I'm just going to pour this. And apparently what this does is it actually um, creates this stone stuff. Yeah, the Krillium stone. Because liquid antimatter with any other fluid does weird stuff. Like water in the overworld, um, it creates packed ice, which I think I can find a fun use for as well. Oh, wow, that like, gave me blindness when I was in it. And apparently this hurts the mobs, too, so that's cool. And it makes anti-mobs. I think that's kind of cool. Ooh, I know I'm going to need some of that. I've been trying to find that stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just create a whole bunch of this Curlium Stone, because this is what we're going to need to create the altar for our uh, our next objective. Yeah, you know what? Here. Don't suck on that. Ooh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um... I don't know what caused that explosion, but that was kind of cool. Is Mr. Wilson, like, anti-Mr. Wilson now? Anti-ghoul. All right, so let me get these guys to beat up. Whoa. Okay. I don't know if there's a reaction with the stone and stuff, but um, I'm going to go ahead and bust out my, my trusty awesome pickaxe here and just get all this stuff picked up. I shouldn't need too much of it. I don't know exactly how much I'll need, but I'm going to grab as much as I can right now. All right. And let me get rid of that and just make sure that I'm getting everything I can. So matter overdrive comes to the rescue again, because apparently this is like, uh, what did someone say? This is like level 30 poison, uh, this Corellium fluid. But fortunately, I'm a robot, so I can't drown, which is cool. Um, and I don't get poison effects. So what should be just wrecking me right now is doing literally nothing to me. So I think that's awesome. 
Um, that should be enough. So we're going to go ahead and head back to the overworld now and get some of this, cooked, this brick cooked up. And we're also going to do one other thing. Oh, you know what? Before I go... Hey, hey, hey. Man, y'all annoying. Get out of there. Um, oh, I turned it off. Aw, oh, man. I hate when that happens. I was turning my pickaxe off. And apparently it thought I was trying to mine with it. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Let's get this built back up real quick. Hey. That's not where I put you. Hey. Get out of the way. There we go. Where are the doors at? There's the doors. Just making sure I can keep you guys out. Okay, you guys do your thing over in that Krillium stuff. So anyways, I have been mining, and um, I, I, I've been trying to get a lot of the materials that we're going to need, and I didn't want to have to do a lot of it on camera, so as you can see, I've done a lot off camera, and I, yeah, I've been mining. I've, <laughs> I've been doing a lot, um, but I got this idea, right? So I don't know if you noticed as we ran by, but ooh, diamond. Oh, I got plenty of that. Um, I don't know if you noticed it when I was running by, but I have made a grinder. And the grinder was specifically for this reason right here. Um, I wanted to find some blocks that were, you know, hard to get, you know, get my hands on, right? And this has definitely been one of the ones that's been the hardest for me to get my hands on. And so I've got an idea. Um, where are you at? No, you're in the golden bag of holding. A little safari net here. Drop one of these in here. And I'm going to animate this guy like that. And then collect them. And I'm going to see if we can use the grinder to basically reproduce these guys. I don't know if it's actually going to be possible or not, but I thought it's worth a try. Because out of all that digging you see, you you know, that I showed you, all this digging I've done, I found uh, three of these, and I left these here specifically for this episode. I found three of these and one of the other one that I just picked up, right? So I'm thinking it's probably worthwhile to, you know, at least give it a shot. Oh, you know what? I gotta get another net. There we go. So we're gonna try this out, and we're gonna hope this works. And here we go. And uh, the whole reason is because we need some of that liquefied corylium um, ore, as well as uh, what was the other one? Oh, I can't see the name of it right now when it's in the safari net. Um, both of those. Uh, short supply, very very short supply, and it's to get like the next level armor and the next level weapons and all that stuff. But it's in such short supply, it's really, really annoying. And I have just wrecked this area. I'm going to have to, like, beautify it. But we're going to go and check this out and see if this works. Because if this does, this should give me way more than I need. So this is my temporary grinder. I'm going to pretty it up a little bit more. But for the time being, this is my grinder. As you can see, oh, hey, what hit me? What, what hit me? took damage how does that damage i don't know anyways uh auto spawner in the middle mob essence pumped in from the grinder over here the grinder's getting power from the anomaly obviously and then it's also pumping fluid i think out of this side or out the bottom there and then all the items that it grinds goes into this chest and then eventually sends into the nullifier right so i turn my nullifier off here and now anything it grinds like i should like get probably uh uh Oh, a gunpowder from this guy right here. And it'll go into the chest. But I want to go ahead and try this out. So let's see if this works. Um, I want that creeper dead. There we go. So we're going to throw you in there. Exact copy, yes. And we're going to see if this works. So hopefully it should produce a copy of that block I just picked up hopefully there it is okay and apparently the gravitational anomaly has taken hold oh one of them just died okay I don't know if I can increase the range of the grinder so I might need to put some carpenters uh, I don't know remember what they're called um, the conveyor belts but if it did, yes, I've got the pearlescent corellium ore. Okay, that's awesome. 
every time it kills one of these, I'm gonna get another one of these blocks, yes? Two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so that is working. That is awesome. We're gonna come back to that. That that we will come back to. Um, I I'm thinking I'm gonna need to, need to put some conveyors in here to uh, push them back towards the grinder. Although, I mean, some of them are gonna randomly cruise by like that guy, and he'll get ground up. Oh, this is awesome. I am making so much of this stuff so fast. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put you in there. <coughs> This is so sweet. So, so, so sweet. All right. Now, for the um, altar that we need to make so we can make our uh, take a trip to the next dimension. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in here. And these should give me bricks. And then bricks, I should be able to make, like, the brick blocks. Yes. Okay, cool. We got that going. Oh, that is so exciting right now. That is so exciting. Think about it. You could have, like, on whatever metal you find... If you have an ore, you just animate it and then put it in there and then we can have all the ore we want, like shiny metal um, or shiny ingots and stuff like that. Oh, I, I'm so pumped up about that. I'm so pumped up. But we do actually need quite a few of those because there's this little staff thing that we have to make. And, oh, you know what? I might uh, go ahead and grab those right now. Hey, jump. There we go. I might go grab what we have right now. Ten of them should be a good start. And let's go see. Take you out. Um, I think it's just smelt you and I get the little pearl guys, right? Because that's what I need. I need some of those pearls. Yes, I do. I think I need a total of eight of them. And I've already got some, so we'll go ahead and just let these smelt up real quick. The reason being is we got to make this thing called the Staff of uh, Rending right there. This guy right here, which takes um, a Shard of Oblivion and then uh, four of the shards. But we need eight of these <coughs> because we have to get, well, what do they make? Um, they make these goes uh, abyssal wasteland uh, essence and we need eight of those to make the the next nama necronomicon so wait why aren't you cooking oh it's already done it just kind of glitched out okay cool and that was with uh what blaze and diamonds and ender pearls because we got to make the little strange mutant gem things all right so uh what was the recipe for that um, a shard, no, is that it? Shard of Oblivion, yes. Oops. That is, okay, the Transmutation Gem, which is the one I need to make. Okay, so I need to make eight of these. So I'm going to need, what, uh, 24, 8, 16, 24, 32 Blaze, and 16 Diamond, and 16 Ender Pearl. E and D. All right, and I should probably just type 16. And I've got so many diamonds, it's not even funny. How many is that? Is that 141 or 341? I got so much diamond when I was uh, mining in um, the Abyssal Wasteland. It was absolutely unbelievable how much diamond I was getting. And Blaze, I did farm up some Blaze. So I should, yes, I've got plenty of that. Um, so it was 32 of those I needed. And then the pearls, and the pearls go in the middle, and I've got 10 here, and how many do I have in here? Uh, two, but I only need, oh, I only need eight, so we're good there. So we're going to go ahead and go back over to our uh, fun little uh, abyssal craft ritual over here and make up a whole bunch of these, well, eight of these transmutation gems, and let's go ahead and put you there. get all my stuff out of the way here all right so diamond diamond pearl pearl blaze 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 and then i've got the necronomicon on me you know what let me turn this thing off before i do more damage again and i should just be able to click oh no no wrong one click on you shift click there we go 
and that's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and make up eight of these transmutation gems so we can go ahead and make what we need, and we will be back. All right, so I just finished up with the, uh, the last of the transmutation gems, so now I've got eight of them. <laughs> and I think I have enough of those, like, uh, shadow fragment things to make the next one, I believe. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. What am I doing? Uh, bricks, that's what I'm doing. Make more bricks. It's five. I think I need nine total. So it's going to be uh, four times nine is 36. So we'll come back to that in a minute because I need to make some of those uh, shard things. And I should have enough to make them all. Hey, hey, hey. get off the bush. <coughs> I know I've got a whole bunch in here. Yes, I do. I need eight. So eight, 16, 24, 32. Ah! Right? It was four of those with the transmutation, right? Yeah, so 32 of these. So I'm going to need some more. Um, shard and fragment. So if I remember correctly, I take all of these. Okay, cool. And I've got, ooh, not a lot left. Uh, oh, and I'm going to need more of those. So where are my fragments at? All right. So I'm going to need four of these per. So I'm going to need two. All right, looks like I'm going to have to go get more of those. Uh, it's just nonstop. Um, oh, the gems. The gems are in here. Like that. And I put you like this, and you go like that. There we go. Perfect. I just need eight of these. Cool, and these do stack. All right. So we're getting closer to making this uh, render staff of rending. All right, eight of those. And now I've got to get some more shadow fragments and this abyssal stone. I'm just getting this chest right now. I'm starting to get a surplus of that stuff. Um, but the stone should be done, which means I can set up the ritual, but I still got to make the Necronomicon, which is going to take, uh, some of that flesh, which I think I still have some of. Okay. That should be enough of you, right? Perfect. But I got to get the essence using the rending. Okay. So I'm going to go get the shadow fragments, um, from the freaking dark mountain darklands mountains or whatever and uh when we come back i've got 12 of these yes so that's enough um yes i'm gonna go there get the shards come back and get some fragments and hopefully just get a whole bunch this is probably gonna take a while so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so i just got back to the house i think i should have enough fragments i just want to see how this thing's rocking and rolling over here um wow i've only got one in here really are you out of essence? Oh, it might be because it's daytime. And maybe... Wait, hold on. Are you guys still... Yeah, it's because it's daytime. So nothing's spawning in there. Which is actually kind of cool. Because I can go in and waste these guys real quick. I should... I like aggroed him. But I'm okay with that. I still think this works awesome. This is awesome. So now I've got four of those pearls now. And then you're still working though, right? Yeah, you just don't have any mobs spawning, so that's okay. All right. So that is working great. That is awesome. And then I'm going to do the liquefied ones too. So we'll get that going. And what did I need? I needed um, these fragments, right, to make those. Okay. Oh, I got more than enough. Okay. And so it was this. Like that. Yes. All right. So we've got that. Okay. Now, the reason I have to do all that, okay, and this is where I haven't been actually showing. I've just been kind of trying to figure this stuff out. Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, oh, the Necronomicon, right? This is what it's all about, right? So I'm trying to make this Necronomicon here, right? Because I need that to summon the next boss. So I need our Necronomicon, which we have, and eight of these Skin of the Abyssal Wastelands, which is eight of these flesh and this little essence guy here. So I need eight times eight is what, 64? Do I have enough of that flesh? Ah, stop. 
fingers on the wrong keys. All right. Um, I've got some. I got fourteen of that. Do I have any here? Oh, I've got. N oh yeah, we got plenty. Um, so let me just grab sixty-four of these because I'm gonna need these, and we're gonna go make some essence. Man, my inventory's just getting full again. Okay. So we're going to take you and take you, and we're going to head back to the Abyssal Wasteland because it's the only place I know, the only place I tested this out that it worked. I tried to get it from mobs in the overworld, and it didn't work. So I'm thinking maybe the only place you can do it. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. Okay. Um, I have to beat the crud out of a lot of mobs here, which is actually pretty easy because they all kind of flock to me and want to kill me. And so I can just beat up on them while I'm sitting on top of my uh, my little spawner room here. Or, uh, not spawner, but portal. Yeah, my portal room. So, uh. I, man, I feel like I'm all over the place right now. I know I've been I've been gone for like a week and I'm trying to remember some of the stuff I've been doing. But, wow, I feel all, so out of the place. Uh, all, all over the place right now. All right, so uh. let's go ahead and attract some of these guys. Aha, here they come. Alright, so all we do is just basically beat on these guys with a stick. Right? And it doesn't do a lot of damage, which is cool. And if I just kind of hit down, none of them can hit me from here, I don't think. Okay, as I say that, I get hit. But I just keep right clicking, right clicking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, where'd you come from? I remember you were not hard to kill, though. Yeah, 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 you were easy to kill. I don't remember you. All right, so anyways, um, you can see it says Abyssal Wasteland Energy 16 out of 100. I need to get them to 100, and then I turn them into these little energy balls, and then I'll mix that with the flesh, and I'll get the skin, and then we can make the next Necronomicon, and then everything will be awesome. So I'm going to sit here and just beat the nonsense out of these guys with this stick, and uh, eventually have it filled up, and I'll have these little energy balls. Yeah, 38. So it's going to take a while, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Um, I found out that all of these here were a waste of time. It was a glitch that I had not noticed before um, when I was doing this. So you can see right now I'm at like 97, uh, right? 97 out of 100 for the Abyssal Wasteland. So I'm going to hit them a couple more times. Right, and now it recycled over to three. Well, see, the thing is, there's a glitch, and if you see a click that it's there, it d the view of it doesn't pop up at first, so I thought I wasn't making them, right? And so then when that happened, this disappeared, and then that was there. And so I realized that the, the rendering, it just does what it does. It, it picks up all this essence and makes these, uh, these balls, but I basically spent a lot of wasted time making all these. Unnecessary. So if anybody ever jumps on my server, I've got extra ones for you. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and now finish making the last eight of these. Oh, my goodness, these are loud. And uh, hopefully, as soon as I get to 100, it should just show two in that spot. So I might tough it out just to make the second one right now, just so you guys can, can kind of see, because this is all I've been doing for like an hour now, trying to figure out what was going on, because I wasn't getting these other balls, which I had done before in the past. And so, you know, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's all a learning curve and a learning process. All right, so I just made a new one. So if I pick it up, I should have two now. Yeah. Okay, so it's just it's not updating, but it is doing them. So I'm going to go ahead and finish making up these. And then uh, we should be able to go make our flesh stuff. And we should be able to get to go. So we'll be back shortly. Well, shortly for you, a long time for me. All right, so we are back in the overworld. And we are getting very close to getting the Necronomicon done. And getting all of this set up for an awesome battle. And... Oh my god, I can't believe though, I took the time to make all these and get all those shadow gems and all that stuff that I didn't need. But hey, on the bright side, if you haven't gotten to that point yet, now you don't have to do all that extra. You know, trying to figure it out and whatnot. Because it's unnecessary. Um, I'm going to stick all these extra ones in here, I guess. Alright, so what I need to do now is take these little balls here. Yes. And do this. And now I've got eight of those, right? And I wrap that around my Necronomicon, which I got to run out there and get. Because those are out by my charging, on my charging pedestals or whatever. And then we should be able to take the brick, set it up. Oh, 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 this is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. So, give me you. There we go. Can I make you on here? 
So you go like that. I wrap you in these. Yes! Okay, so we've got the Abyssal Wasteland uh, Necronomicon now, which is awesome. Now we're going to take these bricks and I... Oh yeah, I need a bucket of liquid Corellium. Why am I not taking the paths? These pretty paths I made for myself. I'm not taking them. Because we are going to go and try to fight the boss and get what we need to make the next key. Oh. All right. Um, is it in here? I got, I got a bucket of liquid curly more. There it is. Okay, so I need you. I don't need you anymore. Don't need you or you. You guys all go in here. Put you in there. Bricks I need. Uh, I've got so many of these mine stones now. It's just annoying almost. Um, all right. Here we go. We are going to go and set this bad boy up. And hopefully, it'll all work out. Um, does this thing need to charge? Oh, it's already got 5,000. Okay, cool. Hopefully, it doesn't need much more than that. To well, actually, all I'm doing is setting it up, so we'll see. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm getting, like, I'm literally kind of shaking right now because I don't know how bad this boss is going to be. And I don't, haven't found a lot of stuff to do damage to me. So I'm not overly worried about some things, but... Um, there's always a chance. Alright, so... There are so many mobs here that I don't even know, like, begin to know where I should probably try to set this up. <sighs> maybe, 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 maybe. Um, maybe down in my hole. I did not notice a lot of mobs down in the hole. But I don't want to put this, like, too far away, but there might, there's just so many mobs there. And actually, underground might be a good idea, because it might help keep him uh, under control. Ooh. So maybe if I set you up, like, right over here. So it's supposed to set up the same way I did with the cobblestone one um, on the overworld, but with these bricks instead. So it's one, two, bingo, 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 bingo there, you there, 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 and there. And then with the Necronomicon in my hand, I should be able to just shift right click. Yeah! And then it just says, all I gotta do is, okay, I don't know if this is true or not, so we're about to see. This episode could be really short or really long. Uh, either way, it just says I have to right click. Or maybe shift right click. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Um... Right click and throw in the Necronomicon. No. Okay, I read this. Hold on. We're going to double check real quick. All right, guys. So we are back. And I've got this. I got it all figured out now. Um, basically, I did the smart thing. And I was reading the wiki. And it didn't quite tell you what you know very well. Then I went to the rituals. And went to the Abyssal Wasteland. And it shows us how to make the next key, which is easy because we need to get the eye from the uh, abyss from this guy. Uh, All this cool new armor that we can make, which, wow, I do want to make that stuff. Uh, but there it is, right? So this is the summon the fallen, right? So it's going to take us four gold, uh, a liquid curlium bucket, a transmutation gem, and an enchantment table. So we got this. So we're going to go ahead and move all these out of the way. And I'm thinking I should probably have a sword. And I might run and go get one of those. Come on. There you go. Um, before I actually start this because I don't know if I can shoot him or not and if I can't shoot him I don't want to be standing here doing like nothing so I might go get a sword first nah why, why, why should I you know right okay and it says I need a thousand so I should be good oh oh okay okay And I can't shoot him. But he's like stuck. So doing this underground might have been a good idea. Because I know there's supposed to be like these other dragons flying around that he gets his power from. But apparently this is going to work. I wonder if my uh, blood magic sword would have been good for this. But I seem to be doing pretty good damage with just the pickaxe. So hey, uh, it turned out that doing this underground was very advantageous. So if you guys do this yourselves, do it underground. Apparently he just gets stuck in the wall and 
it makes killing him pretty darn easy. I'm all about that. Plus, I didn't get affected by an explosion, and because I'm a robot, I don't get the nausea. So that's cool. Azeroth, this was very, very... Oh! Oh, he got around and actually hit me. Come on. Yellow heart. dropped a lot of stuff. That was a lot of experience levels, too. Did I get the... Yes, I did. Ah-ha-ha! -ha. And I think in here I have... Nope, I got the key. Alright, we're doing it. We're gonna do the Dreadlands key today. Alright, we got the stuff to make the key. And we are gonna do this, and we are gonna go to the Dreadlands. And apparently there's not a lot going on in the Dreadlands, so it should be interesting as to what we see. Uh, where did I do you? Oh, right there. Duh. All right. So, um, what was it? I got you, you, and you, and you. Key goes in the middle. It was you there, you there, you there, and then where's my... Oh, man, I put it on the charging station. All right. So, three, two, one, and shift right click. All right, all right. A little lightning should strike down. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, um, let's try this again. Don't want to back into that portal. Ah ha ha, there we go, here we go. Welcome to hell, <clears throat> the Deadlands, nice. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it up right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I always appreciate the likes and comments. Uh, subscriptions are cool, too. Whatever. But please let me know if there's any other stuff you guys want to see. I really, really, I'm constantly playing with these mods and trying to figure out what to play with, what to check out next, uh, what I can incorporate with other mods to find a, you know, a cool mixture of mods. So, you guys, let me know. Whoa. Whoa. Well, hello. This is freaking awesome looking. Oh, yeah. Well, until next time, guys, I am Slider Havoc, and yeah, we're going to be checking this out next episode. Peace.